Hey, welcome to an episode of New Gameplay Today Live. We're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm your host, Jeff Court, joined today by my dear friend, Joe Juba. How's it going? Going very well. Hello. Yeah. So, like everyone else in the world, we're sequestered slash quarantined. So we're doing this from home. This is kind of uh, our, our first time doing this without Leo or Alex. So this could be a huge catastrophe. Does everything appear to be going okay on your end, Joe? It does. Uh, I think I have I think I have a uh, chat up in front of me. Here. Okay. Oh yeah, it looks like I do. Mighty Yappy or Yapple says hi. Hi. So we're we're going. All right, we're, we're going. Good. We'll we'll do the best we can, but we can't promise there won't be any technical <laughs> issues. I might uh, start crying and and I might run away. So. Well, the most we can promise is we're going to play some Animal Crossing. Absolutely. So we are on your island right now, Joe. Yes. Your is island my... rules. Oh well, thank you. Uh, yeah, I spent one of the reasons my island rules mm -hmm. is much to your chagrin. I make liberal use of uh, manipulating the system clock. So yes, I quicker. yes. And you're also really into I think you have kind of approached this with a Stardew Valley mentality when it comes to placement of things and, and efficiency, which is uh, you'll see my island is more of a freeform experience. Like I have not put any paths in yet. So, yeah. Yeah. So give us a tour. Uh, I'm going to follow you real quick. Yeah. Uh, one second before we do real quick. Uh, Alex Garcia in chat is asking, is this uh, spoilers? Is this spoilers? And, and I think the answer is yes. This is, uh, I mean, it depends on what you, what you consider Animal Crossing spoilers, but everything that I would think about that, consider, mm -hmm. which would be like different phases of different buildings and stuff like yep. that. Like these are late game. These are pretty late game islands that were... Uh, strolling around right now that's so. a really good point i think we've been playing for about three weeks to the day does that seem yeah, right Fe february 29th is when i started up yeah so uh yeah so if you want to preserve the surprise for some of that stuff mm -hmm. uh yeah we are we are not starting from scratch yeah i think the stuff we're showing though is you will have seen like the nooks cranny in the trailer i think you might be a step beyond that which might be a spoiler but it's i this is a really difficult game to spoiler, but I appreciate if people want to go in completely blind, this might not be a, a good stream to watch, but you should still watch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Please? So, uh, so this this dude that's walking in front of you, I'm going to have to remember that we're on your camera and not my camera. Yes. This, this dude is Flick. Yeah, he, I am. Uh, he is... For me, probably my main source of income. I know that you, Jeff, are real big into fishing and using that as your source of bells. Yes. I tend to focus on bug catching. Okay. Uh, because early on, I was finding, I was finding uh, that the like, uh, what the peacock butterfly and the emperor butterfly mm -hmm. were much more plentiful than like high value fish. Yeah, as luck would have it, if I, I've got my inventory open. I actually went on a fairly big bug hunt last night. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I can't sell things to Flick because I'm in your island. So what a colossal waste of time. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Flick. Uh, you, yeah. If you do search for Flick online, like image search, you'll find that uh, the Animal Crossing community took an immediate and uh, really creepy interest in that character. So, oh, really? Yeah, maybe don't do that now that I think about it. I, it's very disturbing. They kind of latched okay. onto his, it looks like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to go any further. <laughs> People got real weird, that's what I'm going to say. All right. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, so we are showing some things. So let's let's look at your town. Give me a tour of your town. You have all these beautiful flowers that you can run through, which... Hey, don't, don't. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I, it'll knock the bloom <laughs> off of them, but it won't, like, uproot them yeah, permanently. It doesn't ruin them. It just makes them look. I mean, here I'll do it. See, it just makes them look. See, good. now that you're doing, it, I, I absolutely have to do it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So yeah, this is my uh, this is my like town plaza area. Mm -hmm. This is uh, y you wrote that. Well, no one can yeah. see it because it's your screen, oh, but I'm sure it's really cool, right? It's yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So, there I am. Uh, I wrote that with my own hands. Thanks for the picture. Uh, so yeah, then off here, I've done a lot of uh, fruit tree planting, mm -hmm. as you have, as you have also. Yes. Um, so I harvested them recently, so there are no fruits hanging mm -hmm. around. But pretty much all of the trees you're seeing here 
you know, every few days, give me some fruit that I can get some money off. Of. Right. How long does it take you to gather all your fruits? I would imagine they're kind of staggered, right? You're not getting all of the crops have, on the same day. I have them all set on the same day. Do you really? So, yeah. So it takes me like 20 minutes probably to get everything. 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I just put this here this morning. This is a nice little bonfire area. Uh huh. This is where you burn all the books, right? That you have political uh, yeah. problems yeah. with? Is that right? I don't know. You want to share? This is where you burn the plague bodies. Okay. That's top. Can we turn that off? Yeah. Uh, it's it's okay. like a light switch. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. So that's that's that that little bit. Um, I have a whole area. This whole part of my island here, I just have like waiting for development. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't quite know what's coming next in the game. Yeah. Because like, do you like? You laughed at me when I said like I, that I'm in Animal Crossing Endgame at this point. Yeah. Because, you know, like the game, you can just play it for a long time. But it seems that it's still pretty slow in rolling out and feats and upgrades and various things like that. So mm -hmm. I have no idea what's gonna, um, what's coming. So I just kind of have, have an area over here that I, you know, decorated yeah. with some things. Is this where you but, hope that all the fossils appear in the morning because they're easy to find? Yeah. I would imagine, like, the trees, you've got a lot of trees, so it's probably yeah. kind of a pain in the ass. What's been happening to me lately is that they've been appearing in uh, spots that have been covered by trees that yeah. are a little bit harder to find. You can't, like, move the camera a little bit to facilitate that, but it is. there have been some fossils where I found at, like, the end of the day where, you know, typically four will show up, and I found three, and it's like, where is that other one? And then right before I go to bed, it'll be in some weird far-off cliff side that I hadn't gone to or could not have seen yeah, for sure. And uh, you mentioned, too, about approaching this like Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. And I think I definitely I mean, I'm a big fan of that game. I think I definitely did to some degree, partially because I'm playing this by myself. Mm -hmm. So I know that that's very different from your approach. Oh, you can talk to one of my towns. Did you marry Eugene? No. <laughs> uh, because like for me, it's I have my house and then mm -hmm. the rest of my island is just kind of mine to do with what I want to. Yes. As opposed to you, mm -hmm. which you you're sharing your your house with or your island with three other family members. So everyone kind of has different priorities and yes, uh, areas that are sort of theirs to customize. So, you know, a little yeah. bit different approaches, I think. It's always a strange sensation interacting with villagers that you aren't familiar with. You're like, all right, you're kind of a weirdo. Oh, yeah. We visited so, Elise yesterday. That clown, there was how like does a, that even a clown exist? koala. It was a nightmare. The house was completely awful. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. so you've arranged, like, one of the things that's interesting about New Horizons is you can kind of assign where you would like the uh, villagers' houses to go, and it looks like you've created a real tight district here. Yeah. Whereas I my mine are all spread out all over the place. Well, yeah, and you joke that I'm that like my town's gonna gonna look like it was designed by a robot. Yeah, and I think that that's probably true to some degree. Uh, but I I like the idea of mm -hmm. just having one area of the town, and it's like this is where most of my people are gonna be. This is like where I talk to different folks, stuff like that. This is where you saxophone. Yeah, you go you saxophone, play guitar up there. Got a nice little. Uh, little band area you can't really do anything with it it's one of the things so this is my first animal crossing game uh -huh. and one of the things that i find a little bit weird or frustrating about it is how minimally interactive things are mm -hmm. you know like i feel like like you want to pick up that guitar and just jam yeah, on it yeah, my video game expectation is that I press a button here, I pick up this guitar, uh -huh. and then can mash the buttons and, you know, crank out some sort of weird solo or something. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, it's just a little, like, bang, 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 yeah. bang. Yeah. Yeah, all the instruments you can interact with and make a sound. Microphone. Nothing. You'd think, it, at the very least, you could give some kind of fancy speech. Yeah. I want to answer a couple questions from chat here. Yeah, yeah. Um, they say my mic's a bit quiet. I mean, it's sort of a weird homemade setup. Here, All right, so. let me turn you up. Uh, but uh, some of the questions include... Is that better, chat? Let's see, I'm turning Joe up. Say do some exciting have... words. Okay, do we have tropical trees on our island? Uh, yes. I have... I mean, we have coconuts. Yes. 
that's the that's the biggest tropical thing. Otherwise, I, Jeff, from previous Animal Crossing games, are those main fruits the other five fruits? Are those all the same? I believe there've been bananas as well, but I've not seen them in this game. But yeah, we've got like both of our saves. We we uh, played with Elise yesterday, as we were saying, and we finally got peaches because she started off with peaches. I know both of us had traveled. There's kind of like a you could buy tickets and check out randomly generated islands that are just there for you to explore and get harvest, you know, harvest materials and stuff. And through those, we've gotten all the fruits except for peaches. And like we burned through a ton of tickets and just never oh, found them. Man. And at least started her game and she was like, yeah, I've got peaches. And it was it was really a great moment. Yeah, yeah. So all those trees that you saw that were sort of half grown on my island before, mm -hmm. those are all peach trees that I planted yesterday. Yeah. How many did you get? 15. Yeah. Same. I was going to steal more, but we were being kind of jerks to Elise, so I won't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There, you know, like right now, we're designated best friends. I won't do it, but I could. And I, I would hope that you would extend the same courtesy, Joe, when you go to my island. I'm not going to mm -hmm. cut down any trees, but if you invite someone oh, to your yeah. friend, you have to, like, proactively turn them into best friends for them to do that kind of thing yeah that's true that's so, the mistake elise made yeah but i could you know like i can dig holes and then if i leave the holes will remain i can bury uh trash which hey, we did with hey. elise i'm not i'm filling all the holes in don't worry <laughs> i think that you tried to spell out jeff by yeah, digging a bunch then, of holes it was the perfect crime yeah yeah but then uh, yeah then elise disconnected us so i didn't get to finish the final f yeah but uh okay other questions from chat um can you respec your town if you desperately want to reset it that asks carcosa on twitch uh yes so i mean i guess it depends on to what degree like if you decide that you like if you if your town starts with oranges like both of ours did mm -hmm. uh, you can't just later decide that you don't want oranges yeah. you have to okay. delete your whole save and like start a brand new town from scratch but if you place your um, if you place your house someplace that you don't like or a villager's house someplace you don't like, uh, it costs spells, but you can move those things around. Yes. So there's I mean, that's how I got all my villagers in that one little area of the town is by moving their houses after most of them had been placed already. Um, Whose beard game is stronger between Joe and Jeff? I mean, you got the cameras. You can see whose beard game is stronger. But... Joe is thicker. Yeah, uh, I've got a good, I've got a good quarantine beard going at the yeah. moment. Yeah, but uh... I think they're each bad in different ways. <laughs> that's, I, that's the very, that's the equal way to look at it. Yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, Alan Smithy says that. Uh, everyone was saying that now that you turned it up, my microphone is better. Oh, good. Uh, but Alan Smithy says it's worse because now you can hear me more clearly. So, ah, uh, um, monkey's paw dilemma. Yeah. Happy yeah. now? Oh, you've done some. Yeah, you. There's a pill bug. Oh yeah, so you can see. You you were telling me about how important it is to hit rocks in this game, which is something I did not know when yeah. I started Animal Crossing. Uh, that the rocks like spit out resources and stuff that you can use. Mm -hmm. But the more you hit the rocks, the more you sort of like go rocketing off in different directions. Yes. So it makes it hard to do like the seven sequential hits that you want. Mm -hmm. So you told me to start digging holes with, you... with the shovel to sort of keep you in place. Yeah. But. I came up with a solution instead that was fruit trees and fences, so you can just sort of have a little barrier around, a permanent barrier around all of them that looks a little nicer. Yeah. So. And it seems like it's worked out pretty well for you. Yeah, I really like it. Though I do accidentally grab those fences a lot. Oh no! I wish there like, was a way like, you could lock certain items. Yeah, yeah. Because like, imagine for that for this tree here, right? Imagine that when the fruit falls. Mm -hmm you're going to hit that you're going to hit that dumb fence here a lot. Yes. So, anyway, it doesn't let you do it when company's over. Yeah. So. Who is your favorite villager, Joe? Oh, that's tricky. Thank you. Uh And then I want to go into your store and sell all my stuff so that I can check out your uh your clothing oh, yeah. store, see will, what you got. Will I let you sell when you're here? Yeah, I should be able to sell to Nook. The like it looks cranny. So 
Uh, if you walk up here, you see, I think Meringue here might be my favorite villager. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just like, I like her. I like her style. I like her. Uh, she's like in, very chef-y. I like oh, yeah. Her. I, I like her, the interior of her house and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I got her from an amiibo card. Okay. Which I have no idea how those worked before. I mm -hmm. guess they were from a different game, right? Like, yes. Uh, the 3DS one. Yeah. But the way it's actually really cool because the way they work in this game, if you happen to have a bunch of them left over, mm -hmm. uh, is it just basically lets you get any of those villagers. Yeah. They can just come right to your town. So in our in our vault in the office, when we were still in the office, I grabbed a couple of those uh, packs that we had and mm -hmm. opened them up. And she was one of the villagers there. So I I got her and then now you're Margaret, married. Yeah, well, uh, Margaret, who's another big uh, Animal Crossing fan in our office, told me that like meringue is supposedly very cool. And I agree. All right. But then I also really like here, go into the weird spaceman house. Okay. It's this one. See if he's home. I like, uh, this is Octavian. Who, oh, yeah. So, like, one of the ways they add personality to the characters is by giving them a weird little thing they say, mm -hmm. like, to, to punctuate their dialogue. Yeah. And I like Octavian's because he just calls you a sucker all the time. Oh, and it looks like he's hard at work. Yeah. Crafting. Yeah, this house is super weird. Most yeah, houses... I kind of appear to look like a house, but there are a couple of outliers. Yeah, well, I've got an octopus at home, too. His is kind of weird, too, because like on one, I gave him a hand cart as a gift one day. Yeah. I think, again, the perils of time skipping. I think maybe as I was jumping around it with the with the clock, it registered that I gave him the gift multiple times, so that's why there are two dumb hand carts there. Uh, but, I just learned how but, to make iron armor. What? So, yeah, craft. Yeah, your little guy gave it to me. So he, this interaction, as you probably just saw, he just gave me a DIY card, and those are like a physical item that you carry, and then you can read it as I'm doing right now, and then that gives you basically the ability to craft whatever item it is. It's added to your device. So I'll show you that real quick here. So now I can make iron armor. If I pull up my phone, I've got I a bunch of different apps. Armor. Well, I'll I'll be sure to tell you all about it when I make some. It sounds very cool. So if oh, you go to your yeah. DIY recipes section here. You now can I can make iron gift, armor. Right? Yeah, it looks like it requires eight iron nuggets. And like what Joe was saying earlier, you get those from banging on rocks. So I there's a bunch it. of different things you can make. You can make the different tools. Uh, there's a couple of different stages. For instance, the flimsy axe breaks fairly quickly. And then you can upgrade to a stone axe or a just plain axe. The big difference between those two is a stone axe, you can whack away at a tree forever. And eventually, it'll just stop giving you resources, but it won't chop the tree down. Whereas the axe will will indeed chop a tree down. So if you're somebody who likes to get wood every day but doesn't want to like jeopardize their forest or you know worry about knocking down a tree, then you just want a stone axe. And it looks like it can make all kinds of crap. Where where are you on the map right now? I'm still in uh, that that room. Oh, that guy's house. Okay. Yeah, I'm still in that guy's house. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some iron nuggets for you. Out oh, here. you want me to make you? Uh, so you can make you can make me some armor. Yeah, I think I have a few, but yeah, drop a bunch and all. There it is. Cool. So then, oh, I don't know why I tried to hit that with my shovel. There you go. And then you've got a crafting table right here. Yep. Uh, yeah, down in the by the town center there. Um, I don't know that it's gonna let me do this because I might not have any inventory. Oh, I might have inventory space. So yeah, then what you can do is it'll tell you if something's craftable or not. So here we go. Here's iron armor. I'm going to craft it. And, oh! It's not just a, a prop. Oh, you can actually wear it. Sweet. And I will. No, no, drop it. You drop that. You give me that armor. Gotta go. <laughs> okay, <No>. fine. <laughs> fine. I'll put my moldy dress back on. <laughs> and then, uh, there you I go. Wanna get Get, get back to the chat here for, for a yeah. second here, too. Um, I see a lot of people really agonizing over what they're going to name their island, which I think is, I mean, I would I did the same thing. Yes. I, rest I restarted my game because I did not like the name that I'd given my island after, mm -hmm. after I mean, like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, have 10 characters to work with. Right. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see. Oh, it says somewhere... 
I guess somewhere in the stream we're playing Call of Duty Warzone, but we're actually playing Animal Crossing. No, this is Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah, Alex <laughs> said he changed all the titles. So, well, I don't know. Apparently, there's one. Really, he not. sold us a false bill of goods. Alex, if you're watching, if you could change the title, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Can you evict residents? No, not that I found anyway. The way it works, when you, when I had the full complement of villagers, and then I tried to like bring someone else back in with that amiibo card, what it lets you do is basically like choose one of your existing villagers to move out if um, if you want the new one to come in. But it's not really evicting because it's always like whenever you talk to them about it, they're always like, oh, yeah, I was thinking about moving anyway. So this just works out. Mm -hmm. It's very friendly like that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can, if at least in the case of if you're using those amiibo cards, you can bump out villagers that are currently there to make room. Uh, let's see what else we got. Here you go, Joe. Oh, pill bug. Oh, hey. wolf roach. Oh. Very nice. Very good. Here, for you. Hi. All right. Let me see what else is going on here. I don't know if you just saw there's like a little squirt of water coming from the sand. Right here, I think. Nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. Those are clams that you can dig up. Oh, sweet lord. There we go. And then you can use those to craft bait, which will enable you to kind of lure a fish into a particular place that you're standing if you're really, like, into that. It's uh, kind of a pain <laughs> because it takes a while to craft them. I think I've got a bunch of bait on hand, but, like, each one you have to, you can't just create a stack of it. So it's kind of tedious. Hopefully there's a way to streamline that process eventually, but, like, right now, if I want to make some bait... Let's go to the crafting table. Yes, I would love to craft something. And... There it is. So you do that little animation every time. You can't skip it. Which Oh, you can hold... Uh, since the update, you can hold A and it goes faster now. Okay. But you can't skip it altogether. You can't skip it altogether, but it goes yeah. faster. But I've got 27 pieces of bait on me, so you can imagine how much of my life I've spent watching that guy hunched over, Chuck Green style. Let me tell you, one of, my, one of the funniest things about Jeff Quirk visiting your island in this game is that he spends about two minutes walking around trying to hit your rocks to see if you forgot to hit any rocks, and then he just goes immediately to your ocean and start, just starts fishing your waters to depletion. I like to fish. It's, I have not fished at all, actually, since I've, I've joined this stream, though. I've been my best behavior yeah but like like no one else has fish that you don't have jeff i know but i just like to fish <laughs> right and also like one of the things you can do here is you've got your passport on your phone mm, this is yeah. another thing so you're able to uh i can't edit it here but you've got your name your name of the island you're from what the fruit is from that island and then also your fancy fancy job title or title that you've given yourself and those are derived from like completing nook miles which i guess is another system probably everyone's familiar with by now i'll go into those real quick they're basically <laughs> challenges that you fulfill so basically here are the diy tools um i've broken 165 tools or and then i guess it's technically i've crafted 165 tools but i'm not sitting on a stockpile of them it's pretty close to that figure of how many that have broken and then when you hit those milestones uh you get miles which you can see i've got six thousand nine hundred and ten of them and then you can spend those at the uh kiosk that tom nook has in his little little setup there's also I'm like, running out of things to spend them on at this point though yeah yeah i've kind of i'm approaching that same thing the game only gave me about 70 hours worth of things to buy with my nook miles yeah all right let's see here wonder if we should oh yeah i want to go to your store where is your store uh, that's up in my commercial district. Oh, your commercial district. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Hey, uh, from chat, I want to answer a question from, uh, Amy Wong Braxton, because I had the exact same... This is why I had to restart my island that first time. 
She asks, does it automatically add island to the end of what you pick for your name? Mm. So if you pick Zen Island, does it call it Zen Island Island? Right. No, it does not. So the first name that I picked, which I don't need, I, I'm not going to share. It was stupid. But, <laughs> I, but I assumed that they would call it like Blank Island. And they didn't. So then it just sounded really, really bad. So then I started over. So whatever name you enter, just think of it like a think of it like a town name. Mm -hmm. That's how it's that's how it's used. All right. Well, I've got some bells. Looks like your store is very boring right here, but I like to spend stuff. I like to spend most of my bells on clothing. So that's right over here, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then the Able Sisters mm -hmm. are right there. Have you made any custom clothes, Joe? I haven't made any custom clothes. I have that one. I've made one custom design that I like. That's that Robocop. Mm hmm. And then other than that, yeah. I haven't really done anything with it. All right. So they have a couple of mannequins that you can look at with like outfits that are kind of coordinated. On the back wall are your custom creations. And there's also a kiosk they've added where you can trade clothing online and search for it. And then the actual clothing looks like Scorpion's mask. Is that what that is? Yeah. It's pleather a, mask. Yeah, they call it pleather mask. That's what I'm wearing. I absolutely need that. Yeah, I got to. Seems at yep. least troubled times. It looks really cool. You have one of those weird, like, cyber visor things, right? Yes. It looks cool with that. I'll go put that on. Okay. Looks like they're going for kind of a Mad Max aesthetic yeah. here if they want to be the chopper pilot. Yeah. I'll just go change clothes by opening my refrigerator. Okay. I can't wear both of those simultaneously, unfortunately. Uh,. They have items on display, but if you go into the the fitting room here, you can see there's a lot of variants of those things, as well as some other items that aren't shown. Oh boy, a flashy cardigan! So I yeah, need the, that. The fitting room is absolutely where you should be doing most of your right. purchasing here. It's a little frustrating because there's not a way. Like, it, see, there's like several flashy cardigans, that, and if you would like to buy multiple ones like which is something that happened there were a bunch of baseball caps i wanted uh you have to buy them one at a time and exit and go back into the fitting room there's not a way to like select multiple ones that i've found yeah so boy i like that flashy cardigan i'm gonna need some kind of pants track pants hmm uh question from nick ludeman wants to know do you get to choose where every, like literally every building is located on your island? I was wondering because I mm. referenced the commercial district. And the the short answer is yes, but the long answer is it's a, it's a bit of a pain. Mm -hmm. Because like for instance, when it first asks you to place the museum, you, I mean, at least for me, I didn't have access beyond just this initial part of the island it takes a little while before you get before you're able to cross this river that's here and stuff so it's like i placed my museum behind my town plaza at first nobody can see your screen this by the way i know i'm not i'm not oh. i'm not showing up. okay uh but that's that's all just to say is that like where you place them, you might be limited where you can place them initially mm -hmm. or they might take some houses initially take more space than they really need and then when you move them that that changes but so the bottom line is you can lay things out the way you want to but it might mm -hmm. cost you some money and time to get it that way yeah. you won't be able to just set up all you know the exact layout you want from the beginning mm -hmm. all right oh and a question for you jeff yeah because I do not have the reference point. Mm -hmm. Does item storage work similarly to the way it did in New Leaf? That's from uh, Alex Hinton. In New Leaf, I believe that was associated with your house, right? I, I, I yeah, I, 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 if that's the case, then yes. You are you store it inside of your house, and then uh, you're, as you upgrade your house, you can have more storage space. All right, I'm feeling really good now. Yeah? Yeah. 
Love and life. If there's, if there's anything else worth checking, we could go. Did you check out my look at the cliffs? There's some interesting objects up, up Where's, there. Where are the cliffs? Like the northern, the northern part of town. Okay. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the other bridges and ramps. Those are something that take a while to earn, and you'll be very appreciative when they finally are installed. But until then, like when you first start, you're kind of there's parts of your island that are inaccessible, but then you'll get like this vaulting pole that lets you go across rivers, which is pretty great. Uh, but even then, after a while, you're, it's kind of a hassle to switch between that. What is going on oh, here? Yeah. You just have like a you keeping your stumps for any particular reason? Uh, no, I just haven't cleared everything out. I mean, okay. so like, like you and I have talked about, you almost ah. don't need trees that aren't fruit trees. Yeah. So I kind of was clearing, was clearing out the cedars and then I was like, well, the cedars look different. I kind of like them, but I just didn't get, get around to cleaning up all those gross things. Mm -hmm. so that's the bottom line. All right. That was indeed a pond. And then... Oh, that's your campsite. Oh, that's nice. There's a campsite there. Oh, yeah, I have that set up. Like, okay, so, like, my, my island is orange. Oranges is, like, mm -hmm. my signature fruit. So I was like, oh, we'll give we'll give the tourists some a nice view of, you know, yeah. the iconic fruit. But really, those are, like, there are only three other orange trees besides yeah. those on the island because oranges give you not enough fruit. That Actually, exotic treat. I know when you visit visit Joe's town, you got to come back with oranges because people are going to expect them. It's like Hawaii's macadamia nuts. Uh, I did want to mention though. We may as well plug you. You posted last night a very useful money making guide. Yeah, for, for Animal Crossing with that I I referenced. As, so Jeff and I were passing this document back and forth a little bit, trying to fill out prices for like how much different things cost. And I referenced this a ton in the last couple of mm -hmm. weeks just to see like what things are worth getting and what's not. And now, yeah. now you can access all that yourself. So it's yeah, up, the, on the, up on the site. The short answer is sell stuff. That's the money making guide part of it. But I think the more important useful piece for like people going into Animal Crossing that may have played previous games is that, like I'm saying, it does have like a, a list that is, I can't say for sure that it's comprehensive, but it sure feels like it has everything that's available in spring at this point. With the exception of like individual fossil prices, because I honestly didn't write those down. <laughs> but I mean, also given the amount that both you and I have played, mm -hmm. if, even if it's not 100% comprehensive, it is probably has everything you will likely encounter yeah. in, you know, the first 20 or 30 hours of playing. Yeah, and the prices are like a little different than in past Animal Crossing games too. So like they've kind of tweaked the economy a little bit. So even if you're super familiar, ultimately like things like, hey, yeah, coelacanth is a really rare fish that's expensive, but they haven't shifted oh. that, you know, it's not like it's a common thing, but yeah, the prices of some things have shifted around a little bit, so it's a, it's a handy resource, I would say, for There's that kind of thing, especially when you're starting. My beach. What's that? There's a party going on down at the beach. Oh, there. not for long. <laughs> Where? What part of the beach are you on here? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just seeing where you are. Oh, okay. All right. I'm gonna go to my island. I'm oh, gonna go back yeah, home. So now that you've seen what uh, like a meticulously built out island looks like, we're gonna go to my garbage heap of a, a place. <laughs> oh, let's see your house real quick, because you've actually done oh. a really good job with your house too. I can't believe we have not shown that. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I guess I can look at the map. My house, man, it it feels like a garbage heap to me. Yeah. Because well, yours is, like, thought out a little bit. I've just kind of thrown things that look neat into different rooms. Yeah, I only very recently have started, uh... <laughs> have started, like, trying to do anything sort mm -hmm. of aesthetic in the house, and before that it was just a pile. I mean, one of my rooms is still solely devoted to just offloading fish that I'm going to sell at a high Oh, price. yeah. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm sitting on, I think, four ore fish that I caught last night. Those are like 9,000 and a uh, blue marlin. So I'm waiting for CJ, the beaver, to come into town so I can sell them the uh, the fish. He buys them for like 50% more than the Nook guys do. So, yeah. all right. So this is your house. Just having yeah. a nice time. So yeah, this is my, uh, this is my main room. And Excuse then me. I have... so. 
I assume this is how it worked in previous games where different different upgrades to the house add different rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've got all three of them on the lower floor, and then there's there are stairs going upstairs now, too. You can add a second floor, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, they, they don't let you uh, go into your wardrobe because this is your wardrobe. I can't look at mirrors and change my appearance, though, like just my hair and skin tone and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not able to access my wardrobe when I'm oh, visiting uh, you. Go up top. Go up to this drawer or up through this door. You can okay. see, you can see the uh, the RoboCop design that I made. Mm. I have that on. <laughs> I'm a I'm a child, and I have that on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out in your room. Yeah. So how were you so able to buy these other posters? Because I I could get the I, I like I brought Kyle to my village from uh, using one of the amiibo cards. Yep, yep. But it won't let me buy a poster for him. So the way you can buy posters for people is by inviting them to that island, Harv's Island. Yeah. That, it's like a photography island. So when you go to that island and then you summon your villagers to like pose with you in pictures, mm -hmm. as soon as you sort of summon them as a prop at that island, then you can buy their poster. I thought I did that with him. I must not have. Oh, well. What happened when you brought Tom Nook in? You have the Tom Nook amiibo. Did yeah, it... it doesn't it doesn't let you do that. Like it doesn't let you bring him into your town. Right. So it basically calls them up as if you'd invited them to come stay at the campsite mm -hmm. and instead they're just like, "Haha, I can't come stay at your campsite." Right. But then you can still uh you can still summon them for uh for photo ops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's that's a sturgeon and some other fairly high value fish that I'm going to wait for CJ so I can sell it. Yeah. And as we were saying before, Flick is like the equivalent of CJ and then he buys insects for an additional amount of money, right? Yeah. Yeah. And does he I let you get trophies also? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You have to, I don't know how it works for CJ. Do you have to give him like three fish and then he'll make you a trophy? Yeah. Yeah, that's the same with Flick. He gave him three bugs, and then he'll make you a bug. Like a mountable bug. I like this room. I like the fact that you're a grown man with a train set. Yeah. <laughs> that's super cool. I mean, no, that, that room is the perfect example of, like, well, this is a bunch of stuff I have that I want to get a higher rating on my, yeah. uh, on my evaluation. So I want things in my house. Yeah. I can practically smell this room, too. You've got a cat box right there, and you've got laundry. It really does feel like it, this should just be a basement, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, if if there were stairs going down, if you could mm -hmm. get a basement. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, I wonder if that's the next upgrade, actually. Yeah, you could in the, the GameCube version because, way well, back. That I was still, like your expansion. I was, I was wondering what it would be, because I have one more upgrade left. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't, I, I had no idea like where in my house, like I, I assumed they would just increase the size of the upper floor or something. So this, <laughs> you got, like if you want to take a bath, use the bathroom or eat a strawberry cake. Is that what's going on here, Joe? Yeah. I mean, okay. have you, do you follow the, do you follow the website uh, or the, the Twitter account toilets with threatening auras? No. Okay, that is one of the best Twitter accounts that I follow. But okay. this is this is something like that, where you imagine someone eating their cake and then in the background uh, seeing someone, you know, pooping on the toilet. Okay. I'm just having a good time on your toilet. All right, that was fun. Let's see, I'm trying to think what else might be, before we head to your island, I'm trying to think if there's anything worth doing. Yeah here but i i mean i think we've seen i guess i could show how the tree chopping mechanic does work that'd be cool hey hey no i'm not gonna do, do that. that do that on your own dumb island <laughs> uh do you want to i mean oh we can do terraforming on your island we can show that off a little bit yeah is there like, like are you pretty happy with the layout and where everything is then on your island 
Yeah, I am. I think it's a little bit, like I said, there's that whole area for development over here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of just wondering, as someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with this series, like, are there more buildings coming? Mm -hmm. Are there bigger up? Is there another upgrade for my shop coming? I, I, I don't, I don't really know. So I feel like out in this area that that we're hanging out in, mm -hmm. maybe is just where I like build my Godzilla statue or something. Oh yeah. Uh, so, God, I, I don't know. I'm so tired of catching bass. They're like the bass. biggest fake out fish. The sea bass oh, in particular. Yeah, sea bass is the biggest bummer. Yeah. I tried to send you a sea bass over the mail uh, through the mail system yesterday, and it it does not let you send fish. Yeah, you can't bury them either. And because I'm visiting you, I'm not able to place the item. I can only show them off. But if you go to place them, it puts them in like an aquarium, uh, like we saw in your house earlier. Are you are you still carrying those iron nuggets? Yeah. Will you drop one of those for me? Why? Because I need to craft something. Hmm. And I don't want to go to my house to get it from storage. All right. Don't ask where that came from. Thank you. My net is broken. Oh. Hey, let's talk about breakable tools for a second. Let's talk about breakable tools, Joe. <laughs> I know that was you... one of the reasons you poo pooed Breath of the Wild so much. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um,. I think it doesn't just come down to the fact for for that game it was never about the fact that I don't like that weapons break. Right. It's that I did not like all of the sort of systemic repercussions of yeah. that, right? Where it's like it's sort of for me that diminished the value of the treasures that I found mm -hmm. because it's like oh good, I found a weapon that's just going to break. It's not some like cool special permanent thing. Uh, but uh, all of that aside, in in this game it bothers me a little bit too. Again, not only because the weapons break, but because it's not, it, it leaves me thinking a little bit like, it feels a little pointless mm -hmm. because your resources aren't scarce. Right. So all it's really doing is is adding this like extra layer of hassle for you. Yeah. It's like, well, oh, my fishing pole broke. I guess I need to go make a new fishing pole. Yeah. I, I think that if it was a situation where, like if this were, structured like a mobile game where it's like oh it takes me 30 seconds to build this tool or there's a limit to how many you can build in a day to kind of gate progress it would be a lot more frustrating and it doesn't feel punitive it just is a little kind of annoying i think more than anything else yeah yeah it, and it's not to, to me it is not as major of an issue here as it was in something like breath of the wild right um because all i do is you know build three fishing rods at mm -hmm. once and then because because it's plentiful and doesn't take that long, right? To sort of cut down on the annoyance of having to go, of having to go do it. Yeah, I just realized that if you have the there we go perfect. Uh, if you had the <laughs> motorcycle outfit, you would look like Soldier seventy six, like oh, completely yeah. like. I'm up. Is your health meter going down at all on your end? I can't see. I, I hope oh, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I want to yeah, make you faint. I'm like, getting the one heart beep. <laughs> That was a cool joke. You can't really hurt people in Animal Crossing. Although you can and obviously the, get stung by wasps said, and spiders. Okay. What's that? Oh, I was just calling out uh, uh, Tanner says says hi in the chat. So Hello, Tanner. Hi. I'm just going to shake. Can I shake your orange tree? Or is uh, that? Yeah, go for it. Yep. What a good time. There we go. I'm not taking them, though, because I have oranges as well. That was a real bummer that we both started off with oranges. Yeah. Yeah, but you do early on. Uh, Tom Nook gives you like an additional type of fruit early on, and then also like as we were saying, if you go on to those different islands, there's a chance you can get other types of fruit. So we yeah, lucked out. Which, again, as someone who had not played this before, I was not aware at how like important it is when you get another fruit mm -hmm. to like you need to plant you need to plant that fruit right, and you want to get that you want to get that money. Yeah, and I think oh, that, also just. The kind of fruit you don't have suddenly becomes the best fruit there is in the entire world. Like, oh yeah, I, I just could not stop thinking about peaches. They were just, <laughs> I love them so much. They're very, very critically important in my life. This is a nightmare, by the way, the way that you've planted these trees. I don't, like, I <laughs> have not really appreciated, like, how impossible it would be to, to find a fossil there. Like, because I, like, adjusting my camera, it doesn't, okay, there we go. 
it yeah, does make so the them way, transparent. The way, the way you have to do it, yeah, that's the way you have to do it, is to <sighs> get to a point where you adjust the camera down. Uh, what a problem. Yeah, but you get so much more fruit that way. Yeah, I guess. Yep. Uh, so we, we talked about your money-making guide that's up on the site. I also last night posted a guide that's just like, what is it, 10 sort of spoiler-free tricks yeah. on, on how to approach this game, which is stuff like, hey, you want to plant you want to plant other fruit as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. And you don't... You know, fruit trees are the only trees that really produce something really valuable. Right. Um, so little, little things like that. I think that this game, probably more so than any other Animal Crossings, for several reasons, I think is going to pull in a lot of new players. And I think that your guy, Joe, is a nice <laughs> way to bring people on board, maybe, or refresh people who haven't played for a few years, too. So... There you go. Yeah, it's sort of, and, and I, I wrote it with the idea in mind that, like, these are things that I wish I had known when mm -hmm. I started. Exactly. Yeah, I, we talked about the Nook Miles a little bit. Did Was that something that helped you out early on? I know that some uh, people have I'm problems sorry. with the lack of structure in an Animal Crossing game, but... Yeah, yeah, those, that helped, I think, give me a little, the little extra direction I needed to... Mm -hmm. Um, I don't even, because it's not like I need an excuse to play. Yeah. But I think it's in, almost in the same way that like achievements in a game can steer you towards mechanics that you maybe didn't know about or didn't have an incentive to explore. Yeah. Um, I think in the same way, those little Nook Mile rewards do a lot to, you know, when, when they say something like customize an object, mm -hmm. then you, suddenly it's like, well, I guess I'll spend two minutes to figure out how that works. And right. I think that, you know, I think that works in the game's favor. There is one that has been, I don't know. I, I, it just, it makes me so angry. It's the cast master one. And I just have resigned mm. myself to, I'm probably never going to get this one. It's where are you at? I'm at 78. So it's basically consecutive, perfect casts and fishing. So where like you don't accidentally, uh, like every time you cast, you pull up the fish. Right? Yeah. So I did it 78 times in a row, and then I either pulled up too early or pulled up too late. And I just get in my own head about it. For as much fishing as I do, it, it just feels like I will never do that. And you managed to do that, and I hate you for it. Yes. So the yes. end. That's my little story. I mean, the whole Nook Miles thing reminds me of a couple other games that you and I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, Saints Row the Third, and or, or even something mm -hmm. like uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate that it's really about just having a system in the background that is tracking all of the different things you may want to do in a game. Yeah. And and rewarding you at different milestones. Right? Yeah. And that, like, that, that seems like a smart, easy, fun thing to do. Absolutely. I don't, I don't know I don't know about easy, but. Right. There's not a reward for stealing young peach trees from another player, yes. which I wish there was because I could dig up all your peach trees and put them in my inventory. Oh, don't do that. I'm not doing it. I just tried it once just to see what happened. All right, so we're gonna go to my island, Joe. And okay. I would really appreciate it if you would do a wardrobe change to, uh -huh. to that. Maybe an outfit that is just awful and will make everybody really mad. Okay. I Which I think that. you could do that because I think most of the outfits you've worn have done that. So we're heading into the the airline here, the Dodo Airlines, and we're going to switch. I'm going to head back to my house. So, yeah. Um, I want to uh, hit up a couple things from chat here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Quick. Um, Ashley Whitesell is asking, did we time travel because we have so much unlocked? Uh, Scoundrel. I, uh, I mean, well, <laughs> we, we, we got the game earlier than everyone else because of, you know, we needed time to review it. Uh, so we've had it. We've had it since what early March, late February. And mm -hmm. uh, but then in addition to that, I've been messing with my system clock to make things go a little faster. Yeah. So that's uh, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not done that at all. Yeah, Je Jeff, oh man, I love how angry you get at me for having done that. It really bugs me so much. <laughs> <laughs> in a genuine way, in a yeah. genuine way, yeah. it really bothers me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see, other questions. Can we see chat? Yes, we can. Sorry, it took us a little while to get, get to your question, Ashley. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, it reminds me of the, they were saying that the, the fish casting mm -hmm. reminds them of dodging all those lightning bolts and finding That's exactly game. what I've been thinking, and it also made me realize why you have the patience and fortitude to 
suffer through something like that? Because it seems like something you absolutely would have spent your time on. Am I oh, correct? Yeah, I, I, I yeah. did that. Yeah, I got I got the platinum in yeah. Final Fantasy X for sure. Yeah. Woof. All right, so uh, I have not, just real quick, uh, I have not done anything in my game this morning, so I have not harvested any fruit. I'm just digging up a fossil here. So, yeah, that's where we are with it, with me. Uh, do you want to go... Do you want to go open your gate to best friends? Oh, yeah, so absolutely. I Otherwise, you uh, would not be able to visit. How embarrassing. And right. I, will go, uh, I will go change into something terrible. Okay, I'm very excited. Yeah, so you the already, way that multiplayer you're works... You're wearing the bag on your head, right? What's that? You were, you were wearing the bag on your head yes. already? Yes, yeah. All right, so I'm going to open up my gate here. Via online play. <laughs> Go through the motions here a little bit. Uh, side Sidewinder in uh, in chat wants to know. It says, "Is this something you can play for long periods or a game that you play for in short bursts?" Cop out answer. I would say both. Like I Absolutely really enjoy both. fishing. This is like one of those like it's kind of an ultimate podcast game. So I'll just sit there. Like last night, I think I fished for two hours. And then um, also got duped into uh, Blather's sister was in town and she was what? given some spiel about how you can look up at the night sky and see a shooting star and you want to push the A button and something good will happen. And I, I'm convinced it was an elaborate troll or maybe it was just too early because I spent probably 20 minutes just staring up at the sky. She was probably stealing things from my house. <laughs> uh, not really, but it would have been a good move on her part. I'm kind of amazed though. Like yeah. I've not seen I've all the time I've put into this, I yeah. haven't seen Blather's sister. Yeah. Huh. Alright, so like when you dig up a like I just dug up the golden spot of bells, I always plant them back in the hole. It only works on the like the golden holes. If you just try to bury bells elsewhere, it doesn't do anything. So this will eventually grow a tree that has three thousand bells. So I don't know. Oh, does it it always bears fruit? Uh, yeah, I don't think I've had any ones fail, and I believe it's it'll regenerate over time too. Because I thought it was, I thought it was as in previous, I thought in previous Animal Crossings, from what I saw, was that there's a there's a question as to whether or not it'll even a money tree that you plant will even grow. Yeah, I believe every one that I've planted has grown. Oh man, I need to start doing that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> if nothing, even though it's not, not like three thousand bells is worth getting out of bed for, but it's. It's nice to see bags of money on a tree. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, all right, I'm just going to run around and, and do my routine stuff. I should actually, let's just go to my trashy house, and you could, you saw Joe's house, which was really nice, and he clearly uh, tried. Mine, mine <laughs> is a uh, big, big festering garbage pit, so I've got my hose out there and then also bag of garbage. Uh, one of my kids decided to put a wardrobe outside so I could change clothes there but whatever and then I've got I chose this island like this little position I was the first player because I really liked this nice little peninsula it's kind of stubby but I don't know I thought I can really see myself fishing there and I have but there's just garbage fish that show up there so it's not not particularly great <laughs> you can do door decorations too I don't know if you saw the skull and crossbones there uh it's very cool and then they also added last yesterday a switch that you can turn on and off which is nice so i've got my workbench there for crafting and then uh then this is the, my storage which I, I think i've got yeah 319 out of 400 things which i sold a bunch of uh trash yesterday so let's see what kind of what kind of outfit i can drum up here uh Daniel in the chat wants to know if it has couch co-op. It does, but I would not recommend engaging with it unless it's like absolutely necessary. It's basically uh, up to four players can share a screen and then uh, like one person is designated the leader and the other players kind of warp to their position if they're like off screen from wherever the leader wants to get them. Uh, other than the, the leader's the only player too that can access their inventory. The other people can just cycle through the tools that they have. Uh, and then whatever items that those players acquire show up in the recycle bin when the session is over. It's, it's It felt really cramped. Even things like, hey, let's go fishing. The way that fish are spread 
it was rare that more than one person could do it at the same time. And then like those other players are either pulled off screen if they're not the leader or stuck watching the leader fish. I don't know. Like it seems like it's technically possible, but it wasn't super fun. The way Jeff and I played mm -hmm. co-op was we'd both bring our switches into the office and just do like, it has local, local wireless basically. Yeah. So in that case, you're not both sharing the same screen. It works just like it's how we're playing now. Mm -hmm. We're both in the same space, but you're just sort of off doing your own thing. Um, of course, that requires two switches and two copies of the game. But that seems to be the most fun or like the most free way to do it. Yeah. All right. Well, actually, not not free in the monetary sense, because in order to do what we're doing here, this online play, mm -hmm. you, you have to be mem uh, what the N Nintendo online right. member. This is my Godzilla Stonehenge oh, wow. room. And also, my spices are kept here. Uh, so that's that. That's also a chocolate floor or a, some kind of candy floor, I, I believe. You have that same wallpaper, I think, in your... Yeah, in that in same room. room, actually. Yeah, that's like one of the Sahara. She comes to town. She was in my town yesterday, so she sells like the fancy mystery wallpaper. Some of it is animated, which is pretty fun. And this is my other room. This has my favorite flooring, I believe. Unless I've changed it. I don't think I did, though. Yeah, this is the chocolate floor. Uh, and those walls are like like a cafe. There oh, we go. Yeah. And then just making cool music, just having fun, you know. <laughs> hey, Joe, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. It's Gotta a go. real creative That's studio. That's my cool joke. I brainstormed that one all night and it went yeah. over super well. And then this is the my favorite room up here. I have not gotten the other floors because I my current debt, I think it was like 700,000 bells or something like that. And I reached a point where I'm like, I'm funding all of the bridges and everything. I just don't have it in me. So this is my trash room. Uh, <laughs> busy, I've got hamster and if you like shaved ice, but otherwise uh, gas, <laughs> toilet cleaning supplies, and a couple vending machines that you can interact with, see the thing fall out. You don't get to keep it, unfortunately. <laughs> and then while your friends get candy, you can use the urinal, which is fun. And then also pour a potty if you need a little privacy. So, and then also uh, I've got my all my friends on the wall right there in the trash room. In the trash room, friends. exactly. Precious numbers. <laughs> so that was a recipe because some of the recipes that you get are um, the DIY recipes. Inspiration will strike you just as you play the game. So if you fish up enough trash. You'll like get recipes for uh, like the trash floor and the trash walls. You'll also uh, like if you fish up a couple of boots, you suddenly get a brainstorm and realize you could wear them as a pair of boots, which you're uh, super genius in this world, which I appreciate. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's hilarious because it treats it like some big revelation, yeah. right? Like, I just thought of a recipe I could do with this old boot and yeah. this old boot. It's called pair of boots. <laughs> yeah, or like some tires. You're like, wait a second. I can st stack these. <laughs> and create stack of tires. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So these are coconuts that are very exciting. Um, uh, Jeff, uh, in chat, David Schneider says, spaghetti on the face is definitely triggering my OCD. Oh, I love it. That's my favorite. That, that was the least was like, what is on your face? I think you gave that to me, Joe. Yeah, I did. I saw that. That was for <laughs> sale in my shop, and I bought two right away. Yeah. Because I, I need to give that to Jeff Cork. Yes. He will love spaghetti on the face. One of my favorite things here is now that online has been enabled, like it just was uh, in the update a couple days ago, is you can send letters to people that are like on your friends list, which is fantastic because I know that you were disappointed you couldn't send someone a fish, but you've done a good job of sending me, you sent me a stick uh, uh -huh. yep. and yep. some other sort of garbage. So very yeah, cool. I, I sent, I sent Elise a uh, toilet cleaning kit. Mm. I figure she could use that on literally any part of the <laughs> Like a toothbrush, even if you just, <laughs> you're running low, you never know. Like this is one of my son's houses. He, I don't know. He kind of... <laughs> it's a disaster. Well, he finally got that T-Rex head, though. I well, I gave that. it to him. And then... But like, was, didn't didn't you have a uh, didn't you have a family spat about whether or not that needed to be donated? Yeah, to be, like, I'm really a big proponent of like the first thing has to go to the the museum, right? That's just how you live your life. So he, yeah, then absolutely. he was like determined he was going to have a museum of his own, which yeah, 
You can see he's got all these specimens. And one of the most disappointing things is the ore fish is this enormous monster that's fairly valuable. I think it's 9,000 bells. And when you display it, it just shows up in this awful temporary tarp lined thing. Yeah, Whereas like, like the other things show up like they look like really cool little uh, aquariums. Yeah, the other things look like, oh, this is a pet. And then yeah. it looks like something like this is in transit to SeaWorld. Exactly. Not yeah. even like the bad SeaWorld, too. Not the good one. <laughs> but... And I think this was his fossil room, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so he was... Um, the admission for this museum, don't pay it, is the short answer. It's a bunch of bugs. <laughs> There's a shirt on the wall and then, like, part of some skeletons. I don't know. He's, he's doing the best he can. I don't know. But you, even though it's your island, yeah. you can't take that stuff. No, because it's in his house. I can take the stuff that's in his yard, but right. inside okay. the house, it's kind of a, your sacred space. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Hemphill wants to know what islanders you started off with. I started off with Mac and Rocket. So Mac is, well, let's go find him real quick. I saw Do him they earlier. both still live on your island? Yeah. Oh, I just found a lost item. So here, an exciting quest. So this is Kyle. He's the hyena thing that I... Oh, he's the one you got with an amiibo card. Right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to see if he's this lost item belongs to him. Oh, it was. Oh. <laughs> so Kyle sucks. I, I really wish I hadn't have brought him like I didn't realize it. Oh, Joe's coming. All right. I love this sequence. It's super fun. Oh, Cody Clements has joined in, says, hi, everyone. Hi, Cody. Hello, Cody. He says that your comment about your son's house and then just sighing and saying, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like you and I both talked about this off the air, Joe, but we're both big fans of the presentation for all the online stuff. Like the mm, little yeah. Dal Airlines logo, the dodo like flaps his wings when you depart, like for takeoff and everything. So it's mm. a it's a fun way to do it. Yeah. Uh, in chat, Morty Murado wants to know when are we getting another rapid fire interview. That is you know, a great question. I think one of the things that's real important for those is being in proximity to other people. Right. To make that happen. Uh, now we so live in Death Stranding, so that's not possible. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you'd like that someone's one. Someone's here to tell on us. So. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <laughs> you look like yesterday, you look like Mr. Monopoly. Which you could have completely nailed it if you'd worn a suit. But I think you were wearing a Sherlock Holmes your Outfit. audio cut out. What did I look like? You look like Mr. Monopoly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had the Sherlock Holmes thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot about your Jurassic Park flag. That's cool. I got the idea from Jurassic Park. Nice All right. So see, Nice to see Min Max represented on your island, it says. I don't get that. Just Jurassic Park. Yeah. Oh, OK. That big weirdo Ben Hansen. I think all my fruit, I must have, uh, you've, you've come at an awkward time. Tomorrow, mu everything must be coming up again. Yesterday was a big harvest day, too. Oh, let's see what disappointing fish this is. I got, oh. I finally got a, I finally got a string fish in a pond like that this morning. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeff and I, over the past few weeks, have been trading notes about, like, well, I think we found everything. And then it's like, oh, no, I found a golden trout and i right. found a marlin oh yeah i should show that that's one of the coolest parts let me just get it i just achieve one of these like in addition to the larger challenges here there's these things up top the nook miles plus where those cycle in and out they're very small like this one was talked to three neighbors and i get 200 miles times two so i believe that's 400 miles and then uh, yeah so those cycle yep. what's that that math checks out okay yeah, but you've also got your Critterpedia, which is super handy, and that shows you all the bugs and fish that you've caught. And then if you like go into the Bitterling, it tells you what months they appear, the location. So it's just in the river, March, and then it gives you the, the time of day that they're active, and then with the little red line showing you what time it is now. 
And finally, the bottom right hand side, it says, you know, donated. So, you know, like someone has already given that to the museum. So I don't need to worry about it. It is the best thing. And also, if you like, you could look at a, the larger pictures. I don't know why you do that, but that looks cool. Yeah, it looks very cool. Uh, Zachary McDaniel wants to know, are there a lot of activities uh, that you can do only during the night? I think the yes. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. If he's only playing mm. during the night, are, are there still things to do? Oh, boy. If you're, yeah, I'm so sorry for your loss. Because, like, at the store hours, at least for my Nook's Cranny, are from, like, 8 in the morning to 8 p.m. And then the Able Sisters, I believe, are 9 to 9. Able Sisters are 9 to 9, and Nook's Cranny is 8 to 10. 8 to 10? Okay. Yeah. But, uh, so I think the takeaway, though, is that there's still plenty you can do. There's really not much activity wise mm -hmm. that's closed off to you. It's just, you know, if you want to sit there and make a bunch of money catching bugs and catching fish, the problem you're going to run into is that you can't really offload it if you can't sell it. Yourself. Right. I'll show that real quick. You can, you can still sell things. Like if you, when well, during the store hours, you go directly to the, the Nook guys and they give you money. Outside of those, you can go to this collection box. But the problem with it is uh, if you sell things through that, you only get 80% of the value for doing so, so you kind of suffer a little bit of a penalty, which if you work nights, that's, or work days, rather, if you're only able to play at night, it's a real problem. Yeah, this is also a case for doctoring the system clock. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so if you are if you can only play mm -hmm. from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. or something, just tell your Switch that it's 8 a.m. Yeah. It's fine. It's not like, you know, I, I, I think I've said before, one of the few things I knew about Animal Crossing was that if you mess with Ugh. the clock, there's some guy named Mr. Rossetti who like yells at you and makes you feel bad. Mm -hmm. But like he's not in he's not in this game. As far as I can tell, there's no one. There's no major penalty for doing that. If you just want to. Yeah, if you have an if you have an inventory full of fish and no one to sell it to, you can you can mess around. Yeah. And I just lost a shovel. So that I think I have a couple that I've crafted in my house just in storage. Let's see. Oops. Uh, yes. Turn off the lights. Dark Days says hello. 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 Lazarus Orange says hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this tool wheel, that's something that you don't start off with, but you can get it uh, from upgrading at the kiosk. I'll show you where that is in just a second. Now we'll just uh, do Alan, that now. Alan Smithy wants to know, so you don't have a counter or a life bar on your items, they just break? Yeah. Yep. Though sometimes that may work to your advantage. And I don't know if I'm, I don't know if this is just pure coincidence, but I think there's some sort of system in place to keep your ax from breaking mid rock hit. Really? Like, I think that the idea, I mean, I, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how you'd set this up, but I think that it, it feels like there's something in place to say that like, if you, just consecutively if, if you just had a successful hit on a rock mm -hmm. that immediately after that it's not going to make your shovel break yeah uh so because like i think i've been using the same stone axe to hit rocks for several days now because i don't use it for anything else oh really so that's something to keep in mind all right hi night flowers madness they're saying hello. Hello. Someone else wants to know why is this labeled as Call of Duty Warzone? It says, okay, so like that's Anthony Tunko, and it looks like he's on Facebook. So maybe it's. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Well, it's not. It's Animal Crossing. Sorry. It is for Switch, not Xbox. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Nikki. Alex, if you can hear us, can you please fix the title? Oh, wow. Well. All right. So I'm on the hunt for oh, fossils. Going back, Boysby yeah, yeah. wants to know, 
they don't so like there are hours for shops it says there's nothing to change those hours like ordinances like there was in new leaf not that we've encountered yet not that i've seen no if it's here i mean like there are it is fair to say that there could be any number of things that might be in the game that either we haven't encountered yet or are just like planned for a mm -hmm. you know 1.2 update or something like that like another thing is like there's gold in the game mm -hmm. but i don't have that many crafting recipes that use it i know that so it's like maybe you can make golden tools that don't break i, I really hope so yeah that'd be great i haven't found out how to do it yet maybe we just haven't gotten there I don't yeah, know. i've got I one recipe know. this robot like i was really excited because you could buy recipes from the that kiosk and there was a where is it here this giant robot and I bought it, and it looks like it requires that I have to craft a rocket, which I don't know what that is. Gold armor, which I don't have. Rusted parts, which I just found one of those in the recycle bin a second ago. 90 oh, wait, iron nuggets. Wait, where did you get rusted parts? I got I one rusted part in the uh, in the recycle bin inside of oh, Nook's right, headquarters. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, 10 gold nuggets, which those are pretty rare. I think I've got, I've used a couple... Because when I had, well, like, one of the things you have to do when you first use an amiibo card to bring someone in is you you have to bring them in three consecutive days, and then each day they give you a recipe and want you to craft something for them before they'll yeah. move in. And, like, the first thing that Kyle wanted, maybe this is why I'm kind of sour on him, he wanted me to build him this golden candlestick, which required two or three gold nuggets, which I just was like, really? Gold is, it's sparse. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you, you don't get a lot of that. Uh for sure. Yeah. Mm, I don't think you guys should be doing this. This is my story. <laughs> You're judgy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Uh, some folks asking about uh, KK Slider, McBain and Neg want to know. Mm -hmm. I think that's an area, even though we're showing some spoilery stuff. Yeah. Let's not... Like... Nintendo has obviously used KK Slider in some sort of like promotional stuff for mm -hmm. this game. But I don't want to I don't want to get into how that all plays out. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, let me sneak over there. Yeah, here I can actually real quick like if you look at the position of this building, I'm unable to sneak past it, which is frustrating like for a while my wife's house uh, is on the shore of this river, which it was very frustrating because it looked like you should be able to walk by, but you couldn't. So eventually you get terraforming through this island designer. Oh, and you're, you're visiting. So anyway, imagine, if you will, suddenly a construction helmet oh, appears on yeah. me and then I can adjust like the levels of cliff sides and then also I can... Uh, I mean, I can leave. There's no reason for me to... I mean, I can stay on stream. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah. Need, Why don't, I don't you uh, get the hell out of my island, please? Thank you yeah. very much. You can actually, you might be able to kick me out. Hit uh, hit the minus button. Oh, really? Yeah. And then it'll... It, okay. You should be able to, like, end end session or something. Bye-bye. Yep. <laughs> and now it's telling me, seems like it's time to go home. <laughs> the old heave-ho. Yep. It should yep. show you getting on the airplane and then your suitcase coming shortly afterwards, hitting you in the head. But I'll, like, I'll settle for this, I suppose. Oh, uh, Alex chimed in on chat for us. He mm -hmm. says, Facebook is being weird, but you are no longer streaming Call of Duty. Okay, good. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. I feel sorry that you have to watch this dumb stream. Yeah. No, never mind. It's very good. Oh, yeah, this is just so good. Actually, this is fun. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, I'm playing Animal Crossing, so I mean, there are certainly worse ways to spend time. Yeah. I find when, like, my wife really likes fishing also, and I'll just sit there and watch her fish. I don't know. Maybe I have some problems. Yeah, this is the house, but, like, for a while, this section here we couldn't walk past, and it, like, everyone who played would, like, try to run past it, and we get stuck. So I'm going to fix it over in this other area that I was just stuck on here. I believe, was that over here? Yeah, right here. So you see, like, I can't get past that, but if I pull up my phone, you get this, like, You'll just get this by playing the game naturally. Like Tom Nook lays out some daily things you should be doing or some goals that you should do. So just do what he wants and eventually you'll get this. So then... Oh, you're going to need to be down a level to, to do what you want to do there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I haven't messed around with the cliff stuff mostly. I've just kind of adjusted the riverbanks. Okay, so I'm going down. And then you use your ladder to go down. You can use all your tools when you're in this mode too, which is cool. Yeah. Okay, so cliff construction permit. You also have the water one. So yeah. if I go here, I should just be able to. Oh, good. I did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. <laughs> cool. So there you go. You can see, like, I built that. And I think if I get right on the corner, I like can make it so it's not just a big square, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. So I kind of soften that edge a little bit. It's not it even off. about placement. It's just about like once you build it, mm -hmm. your next hit on it will half destroy it, there and you go. then it destroy it. So that rules. And, and it, just stick with it. You won't get that for what seems like uh, a ridiculously long period of time, but it is worth it when you do have it. Yeah, for something that that you know was sort of a known new feature of the game. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things Jeff and I were saying as we were playing this pre-release was like when do you get this thing if this is yeah. some big new feature because i know a lot of people were concerned that it's going that it would like trivialize their play experience because mm -hmm. because so much of the game is about the sort of natural layout of your island and right yeah, and you don't it takes a long time to get it to the point that like you you do all of the stuff about it you know worrying about the natural landscape is still a part of the, mm -hmm. still a part of the all right, so it looks like I got. Let's see, other uh, some questions from chat here. Is the world flat? Uh, the real world is not. The world in Animal Crossing is. It's, it's kind of like you know, you're on a barrel. Yeah, it's it's, it's classic it's, Animal Crossing. Yeah. Oh, here this uh, is what I was going to show earlier. The passport. I'm sorry, you have another question. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lazarus Orange wants to know what was with that realistic dinosaur skull. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the museum. The museum is like if you played Animal Crossing games before the museum, I think it's definitely needed improvement. And like the, the museum here is fantastic. So I've got three fossils, which that's good enough to donate. So that's kind of a, like this has been shown before, so I don't feel like this is a huge spoiler, but initially uh, blathers in the museum because you're kind of breaking new ground here doesn't appear but if you donate some things it eventually sets things in motion where blathers will come into town so what you do it's basically the same loop as before where you give him specimens and fossils and with fossils you have like a, a two-stage process so uh here i'm going to identify the fossils that i've got and i've got three of them and you can oh i got four i guess i wasn't counting very well apologies Ooh. And then I'm going to have him assess all four of them. Cool. So there's something, at least one of those fossils has not been acquired by the museum. So I'm going to... Dino Land is a holdover from when the 3DS version came out. My kids were very small and it took a very long time to name the island. And they, the boys wanted Dino Land. And then when fossils started appearing... Uh, my youngest kid, I think he was like three or four, was convinced that because he named it Dino Land, it introduced dinosaurs to the world. I didn't have the heart to tell him, no, those things are there anyway, buddy. But anyway, so we're going to make a donation. And here you can donate multiple simultaneously if, if necessary, but um, here they only need the trilobite, which a real bummer of a specimen. But And then in classic Blathers fashion, he'll give you a little speech about it if you'd like, which I always... Hey, Joe, I like to learn, okay? Yeah, and, and this is primarily how I learn things now is from Animal Crossing, so... I, I skip most of his speeches for everything except the bugs. Oh, yeah. Because I know you said this is a running joke, so it must be in previous Animal Crossings, but, like, I got such a huge kick out of just, like, how uncomfortable he is around every bug that you give him. Oh, he absolutely hates insects. Yeah, so he, like, shudders every time you give them to him, and he's like, uh, please don't make you tell you about him. Uh... All right, I've got nothing here. So anyway, this is the museum, which fortunately it's more than just this entrance of work. Well, let's look at the bugs first. So it's divided in different wings and it has a nice illusion of it being an actual museum. So things are laid out in a way that you might see in a, in a museum. So you can see, okay, this is a, it's off to a really great start here. There's nothing here, <laughs> but what do we got here? 
So I'm I'm curious, what was this like in previous games? Like was this, was it just that fir- like that first room with no place to go and see the stuff you've given him? It was uh, like especially going back to like if you want to go back to like the the GameCube era, it was just a giant empty room. It was a real bummer. Yeah, it doesn't that sound great? Yeah, and the dinosaurs, which we'll get to in a second, they look super clunky compared to how they look now. I think you know this looks fantastic. I do think there is something weird about the juxtaposition of visual style, though, mm-hmm. right? Where it's, it's got this very cartoony sort of look for the characters in the world. Yeah. And then it's like super realistic dinosaur bones and fish and stuff. Mm-hmm. There's like an orchard, an orchid mantis there. Is that a moth in that case there? But yeah, you can see like when they were donated. And is that a mole cricket? Bagworm. Uh, Chris Nash wants to know what's on your character's face again. Uh, it's just food. <laughs> I think I think the official item name is just food mess. Yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, you can go to your your characters and take things off. Yeah, it's just food mess, which I will not be removing because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, leprosy. Let's just say that is that's what's going on. I've contracted a terrible skin disease. All, All right. right. May Stu on face on uh, Facebook just says that they're stuck working from home in California and they really appreciate the fact that we're doing these streams. Oh, good. We're so, stuck yeah, at home as well. Here. So, yeah, share the load. All right, the fish are one of my favorite parts too. Like, like we we did see in the uh, in my son's uh, cut rate museum those, but I think that they, they look really nice. And one of the does, my favorite one is the anchovy, which I think is over this other oh section. Yeah, check that thing down. Uh, Ventus Blizzard in chat wants to know how you get how you get the axe recipe. That was so long ago. Yeah, I think I just I, got it. I imagine you can't miss it. Yeah. Like just keep playing. You'll probably get it. Yeah. If not, you may be able to buy it. Yeah, the nook. From uh, from Nook's Cranny mm-hmm. eventually. Um, tr- try there, see if see if the recipe's for sale at Nook's Cranny, and remember that you can uh, use the shoulder button to look at a second page of inventory there. Yeah. So anyway, lots Same. of fish to look at and. Pongbot, thank you for uh, another person who's who's thanks us for the streaming, which is nice. That Uh, is the uh, ore fish right there on the right. Oh, that thing's a nightmare. The first time it comes out, if you're playing, I think you you said like I didn't know like if there's a combat system that I had not (laughs) had a tutorial for because you pull (laughs) this thing out and it's like this enormous. It feels like a like a spring loaded monster out of nowhere because most of the fish you catch are pretty small and you like hold it up and you're all excited, but that one just Ugh! Yuck! Yeah. And then, well, and then you can like still show it off. You can still present it, and you yes. just whip this like prehistoric nightmare out of your mm-hmm. pocket and start showing it around. To yeah. People. Yeah. All right. So then, those are those two guys, and then we'll go to the dinosaur stuff, which I think is has Blathers best. overcome his fear as bugs. He has not. Nope. Sorry, Tommy. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. So this, I think this is probably the most, the biggest difference than in past games too, is just how it seems like right here, like they've set them up in ways that like the dinosaurs are kind of interacting with one another. Like you could eventually get a T-Rex and a Triceratops squaring off. My, I really, they, I hope they aren't charging admission because this is real shabby. <laughs> the fact that it's like, here's most of a, uh, Pardon our mess. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of like that, though, in real museums, right? Where it's like, hey, this is a fragment of a, you know, sarcophagus or something. Yeah. I don't know. I've never gone to a museum. Yeah, I know. They're for they're for squares. Yeah, for sure. exactly. Um, are there, McBain wants to know, are there gizmoids to collect in your basement? I don't know what All that the, means. Like the gyroids? Yeah. The, the thing about that is I have not found a single one. And when I first got a demo of this game, I went to Nintendo's offices and i'd asked about that and they seemed very they were like 
I have not seen one yet. You do... Here, I can... They are in the game in some capacity. I'll show you, actually, really quick. Um, it's a good question. Oh, are, the, are, those the, are those the things when you build something? Exactly. Oh, yeah, okay. they were things yeah, you could yeah, collect yeah. in past games, and then if you activate them, they would make, like, a random kind of like a sound, and there were, like, different percussion instruments or chimes and things like that, and you could arrange them, a whole bunch of them in a room, and kind of play these weird, like, ambient soundscapes. Uh, but anyway, anyway, to get the... The gyroid, we can, we'll go talk to Tom for a second. So initially he's based out of a tent, but they have shown through trailers this upgraded center. And uh, there's Isabella, which everyone loves so much. Mr. Nook, you gotta talk to him at his side of the counter and he's got a couple of things. He does all the house upgrades and everything like that. As you know, but also if you say you wanna talk about infrastructure, this is where you go to eventually get ramps and bridges built so i think i need a i think i need an incline i can't remember well i'm getting one regardless do it all right and then you, you have a money. bunch of different like cosmetic tweaks here they're all you can see the different prices here i uh, am always taking the cheap way out and oh yeah, when we were when we were in Elise's island yesterday, she like shelled out for those expensive Zen bridges and stuff. Oh, they look so good. Yeah. Oh yeah, they look great. Yeah. I, I have a bunch of terrible like, you know, log. Yeah. Log planks, but. Yeah, they seem like something you'd see in a photo essay, like the most dangerous bridges you've ever seen, <laughs> <laughs> like a tumbler or something. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, they're not that bad. This is what they look like. And I. I think I've got a section up top here that can use the incline. Let's see. Is it up here? Yeah, this right here. So then when you place the incline, you get a kit that lets you do the terraforming here, which won't let me do it there because I'm not standing in a good position. I think if I stand here. But this is another this is another benefit of once you actually unlock the terraforming feature. Mm -hmm. You can sort of finesse cliffs and rivers yeah. and stuff well, to, but I'm, that spot works just fine. You can build uh, diagonal bridges. I have not made a, I'm going to try to make a diagonal ramp. No? We won't let you do that, huh? Oh, okay. Son of a gun. Okay. Okay. Uh, back to a couple questions here. Comet yeah, yeah. Empire wants to know, start of the game to where you are now. Time played. Oh boy. My my switch tells me that I have played over 120 hours. That mm -hmm. is not correct, and I'm sure that there's something about that that's messed up because of the way I, you know, fiddled with the clock. Yeah, I, I would say I'm probably more in the like 70 to 80 hour range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you, that's I where I am I too. I know, pardon me, because you you have other people in your family that have been playing and contributing. Yeah, also. so I know personally I played probably about what you've played. Then also like other people have put time in too so this is the Lloyd the gyroid and he obviously he's taking donations for the ramp because I'm the the representative I'm able to go to Nook and get those like the permits to place ramps and bridges like anyone else in my household can't do that so your player one is kind of an important role but once you set up this little like incline where it is anyone else who's playing on the same switch can donate for the ramp which is nice yeah. Uh, Randall Hyatt wants to know, he says, that a quick question. I forgot to check my Nook Miles yesterday. What happens if you miss them and start up the game the next day? I think that means the, he means the... The streak? The consecutive streak. Yeah. Yeah. You're, it maxes out at 300 per day. Mm -hmm. So if you miss a day, the most, the worst thing that happens is you reset the streak for a week. Yeah. And I mean, 300 Nook Miles is ultimately... I mean, like, that's not that. It's a nice little bonus. Yeah. But it's not something you can't get in five or ten minutes of concentrated effort. Yeah. You'll do that accidentally just playing. Oh, hello. Yeah. I see a couple of oh. really good things there. Oh. Buy me those. A fake nose. Yes. <laughs> you want one of those? Yeah. I want, I want one of those and one of the crowns okay. for sure. So let's try on that nose. This one. 
Oh, very good. Uh, Danny Y says, my sister started this game and is sad. She can't find her way across the river to build the, her first house. What? Can you move that house later or build a new one? Yes. Joe, look at this crown. What? What? <laughs> so buy it. What's the hold up here? That's ridiculous. That's how much my loan is right now. Wow. It's a sad day in Dino Land. Oh, well. I don't know. Like, I think I've. My loan right now is like 700000 I'm Oh, boy. I don't, I don't see myself grinding to get a crown. It'll be back. All right. That sweater's good. Oh, this is kind of nice, though. This. I could be a big jerk. I could be the, the rich guy in the romantic teen comedy. Uh, so, uh, b uh, just back to Danny's question, real quick. Yeah, you can. You you get access to the full island later, and by spending some bells, you will unlock the ability to move houses, move houses around. And I think mm -hmm. it costs fifty thousand bells to move a house someplace. So yeah. you can eventually get the layout that you want. You may just not be able to do it right away. Yeah. Oh, boy. Can you get a full Jeff Cork beard accessory? No, but you can get mustaches and beards. They don't extend out like off of your face mm -hmm. to the degree that Jeff's weird beard sticks out of yeah. his face. Yeah, I've not seen a beard yet. You have given me mustaches. Oh yeah, I've uh, I have a beard. Do you? Did you buy one for me? No, I did give you that curly mustache though. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. People chiming in to say hello. Hello, hello. Electric wizard, hello. Oh, there's Mac. That's right. Remember that time I found his notebook? Oh, yeah. There it is. This is the big payoff. Get ready. I'm on my way to a funeral. Please hurry. <laughs> it was a bad person, so it's okay to laugh. <laughs> Dotted raincoat. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Comet Empire says, is there interest on loans? Nope. No. Nope. You just get a bunch of, I mean, it's it's funny because it's framed like a loan, mm -hmm. but it's really not. It's like you're buying, it's, it's more like you get an upgrade. Mm -hmm. or, well, like, what's the way to say it? It's like, like your house is the way it is. And then they, and then they will build more you can't build more onto it until you pay pay off the loan but really what you're doing is just buying into the next phase of exactly so think of it more like that mm -hmm. all right let's see <laughs> mark patterson this was way better than the news thanks yahoo yeah what card do you want joe i'm sending this to you Oh, the graduation caps for sure. Graduation caps. All right. Up to the left. There you go. Yeah. And I should say, too, a lot of people in the chat have been very kind. I've been reading all the comments, but saying things just like, hey, thanks, guys, or how you all holding up with the working from home stuff. And yeah, I mean, this is fun. I'm yeah, it, it's actually it, it's nice to have a chance to just sit and like, you know, interact with all you folks and play a game and talk to Jeff and yeah, it's, it's about as good as it can be. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, you now it's one... much worse though. <laughs> it's a terrible pun. Fake nose. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. That crown thing is really going to weigh heavily on me all day long. <laughs> I'm like, that's a lot of fishing to get I a crown that I will wear once and be like, Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem that doesn't seem to give you any special powers or anything. It's just, yeah, turn my enemies to dust. Yeah, one point two million dollars. Now that I know it's in the game, though, I'm gonna yeah. have like I will compulsively set aside one point two million dollars for oh. when it becomes available. Absolutely, I really want to get a a bug trophy, so I'm gonna get some bugs. Yeah. If you have three of the same one, he will do uh, he will do a trophy for you. And I've seen in one of the trailers, there was like a giant, looked like a giant praying mantis head, but the same size as you would see a deer head mounted oh, on I a have, plaque. I have one of those. Is that, is that one that you got from Flick? No, I got it as a gift. Okay. Like I, like, I think it was one of those where it's like, 
Like they had these balloons that fly overhead that you like, uh, shoot a slingshot at. I think that was, I think it was that that I got. It. I got a blue marlin trophy the same way from a balloon. I was very excited because like the equivalent of but that, that would have cost, you know, because you have to give three specimens of the same type to yeah. give up three blue marlins to get that would have been ridiculous. I like her I a lot. I realized I could have hit her with my net accidentally, which let's see. Uh, Randall Hyatt says, one of my villagers is named Stinky. Can I change the names of villagers? No. No. No, nope, you'll just have to evict Stinky when the time comes. Boysby says, you can send letters to people from other from another town. They finally have that technology. It's so good. It, I, yeah. I love it so much. And they just they just added it with the with, with the online the mm -hmm. online patch that hit yesterday. Yes, they just added that functionality. So yeah, yeah. Jeff and Elise and I have been exchanging some messages. Yeah, it's so good. And here's here's I think this is what people were thinking was a tombstone, in a, like a screenshot or something like that. I think this is the same thing. It's just a little marker, unfortunately. Oh, I mean, I have a straight up tombstone. Oh, my, do you? In my yeah, like a, like a whole great like a. It's, it's not a regular tombstone, but it is like a, it's a long memorial. Th it looks like something you'd see in a, in a graveyard. Okay. It's like a fancy tombstone. Oh, fancy tombstone. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here's something I, let's go into this real quick. They just reminded me about that. The customization here, like, mm. as you can see, my house uh, does not have much furniture because I'm uh, bad at making a house. Did we go into your house? Oh, yeah, that's right. The trash room and all that. Yeah, trash room and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go in real quick. Let's build a table and make a... Let's customize one that we've built. It's kind of an interesting system that I... I honestly have messed around with it long enough to go like, okay, this is how it works and have not really spent a lot of time there, so it might be worth exploring a little bit here. So I'm going to go in here. Well, first of all, I should see what, what a table costs. I don't waste time here. Yeah. So this is really good too. The straw coat looks like absolute trash. So highly recommended. To get away <laughs> one of those. Okay. So if I want to build a wooden block table, what does it require? Oh shoot! I, I totally blew that. I should have gotten into my recipes. Okay. Wooden block table. I need a wooden block toy and eight softwood. And wooden block toy is so you need eleven softwood ultimately. And fortunately, I've got. Tons of softwood. I've been really methodical, methodical about keeping <laughs> stuff. So I've got lots of duplicates of fruit and all that stuff. So I think. All right. So I'm going to craft the blocks first. Let's do it. Yeah, that's the sped up version. So it's still. And now. I'm gonna make the bookcase too. I think those look nice. Yeah, I like. I have one bookcase, and I want to get more, but I need books to do it. Oh. I don't. I don't have books. Oh. Let's see. Here we go. Look at him go. Okay, so now I've got that furniture. I'm just gonna move the. Uh, this back into the inventory. Randall Hyatt says he wants to see what challenges. Maybe he. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show those in just a second. Let me just. That probably means the Nook Miles. Yeah, yeah. So okay. then, if you have like craft and then also customize, so then you can choose things. You can customize your tools, but it seems like a waste of resources. So the wooden block. Oh shoot! I don't have the. Ugh. Sorry, I gotta get. <laughs> There's like another item you need in your inventory to do this these. Is, I have I have a story idea in my head that's I don't I don't want to hit the Animal Crossing stuff too hard, but something I think there's something that's like five five small changes that would make a big difference in this game. Yeah. And I think uh I think one of those things would be when you craft it just gives you automatic access to your mm. storage. Yeah. So it's not stuff that you need to have in your pockets right away. Right. But. Okay, so here like I've got the requisite items in my inventory now, and you can see I've got a different options here. So natural, I got mixed wood, colorful, pastel, vivid. So what do you think? 
chat, let's make my house look nice. What do you think? Oh, people have to choose. Oh, yeah. This is interactive, Joe. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. So what, we got let's vivid. go the options again. We've got pastel. We've got colorful. We've got mixed wood. And we have natural. Uh, Venture says mix that wood. Oh, but someone else says <laughs> colorful. Black Raven says mixed is mellow. Yeah, Bowser had said colorful. Mix All right, mixed wood. Mixed we've wood? Got, we've got three votes for mixed wood, so let's do it. Wait. I'm okay with it, yeah. Okay, we have the bookcase too, though. So this is your, your shot. Oh, okay. Well, let's do let's do colorful okay. on, the, on the bookcase. Sounds great. I love it. Oh. Can't Sorry about my weird there. camera positioning here, everyone. Hmm. Is it pointed at your lap? No, it's just at the top of my dumb head because ah. the way I'm at the microphone. The moneymaker. Okay. So now I've got my nice table. We'll put that. Oh, yeah. Let's go to that real quick, too. You've got item placement. It's just so nice and then you can grab stuff and move it around exactly where you want it which especially if you're dealing with the uh like things on the walls it is super great and you can move things on like a half step as well which oh, i think they've gone into that but it makes it a lot easier if you're positioning a lot of things yeah it took me a while to figure out what that little thing up in the corner meant about adjusting between mm. like sort of top down and yep. wall view but that's what that plus button thing up in the upper right means. Yeah. All right, I'm making this room unusable now. So I, I... Okay, good. Bye-bye. That was just to show <laughs> yeah. that I could do it. It was so practical before. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Hey, anyway, I'm going to change my outfit again. Turn your lights on. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> you have to use the D-pad to do that. Okay. Oh. What should I wear? Pick something... Well, I I like to start with the the, the head accessories and then work from. Oh, there. okay. Gosh, the problem is that the messy food is just so good. I just want to default with that. But let's see. Okay, so headwear. This is what we've got. We got a lot of stuff. I like this hat. This is what I, I think it was one of the first things I got. But hmm. like the Nintendo hat is nice. Um, Keep going. Eggshell. You get grape. Got rain. Uh, this one is uh, creepy. I'm also <laughs> a big fan of. Oh yeah. Oh shoot! It's over. One. You got the pompadour wig, which is nice. But over under accessories, I really like these masks. I think they're cool because unlike this mask oh, here, which yeah. seems like it's sticking out from your face a little bit. Yeah. These are like right on there. I think they look great. But well, anyway, that's is, just me. What do you think I should wear? Well, there is a vote for the power helmet. Power helmet? This guy here? Yeah, that's good. It solves the problem of my face very efficiently. So uh, then, I got a lot of like dresses. I got the moldy dress, which I really like that. That's good. I got a baby chick costume, bear, caterpillar, farmer, and this muscle oh, you suit. Have whole, you have the whole pilot's uniform. Yeah. I somehow only got the pilot hat. Oh, but I don't have the uniform to go with it. Yeah. Got this Nintendo superhero outfit. Uh, this is. I think what I want to have drink a cup of hot cocoa in the rain by a window. I wear that. Oh, there's a vote for the baby chick. Baby chick. All right. Well, we haven't even gotten to the regular tops because this one does take up top and bottom. So we'll oh. keep that in mind because we do have a lot of different top options. I've got a. Sweater that in a previous era we would have called a Cosby, but I don't know that we could do that anymore. <laughs> we just call it a flashy card again. Uh, I really like this. This is like a total Blaine, but whatever. Uh, cowboy shirt. I like this one a lot. The frog tee is very cool. The Dodo Airlines one is nice. It's not Cub Scouts. Hmm. Uh, Kung Fu tee. This is that one shirt that you can you make that out of weeds, which I don't know why you learn. 
Yeah, trench coat, Bob the Builder kind of a thing. A question, is, there a, is there a, quote, fancy boy outfit? Fancy boy outfit? I, like this? Or more of uh, this? What kind of fancy boy are we talking? Uh, try the, I like the noble coat. That seems pretty fancy. Oh, the noble coat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see that. And we got bottoms. We have a lot of things. I like these fashion jeans. These are just completely terrible. I did accidental Robin cosplay too at one point with these spangle shorts. We got chaps. Ooh, yeah. You got to do that. You got to do the short shorts. The short That's shorts like do. those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, uh, the spangle ones. The spangled ones? Yeah. Okay, and then we've got shoes and well, socks you're not going to see because, but we'll wear Argyle ones. But well, we've well you got might short see. Shorts. You That's might true. See. We do have especially, sock options, especially if you put on those fishnets over there. Yeah, I got jeggings or fishnets. Oh, those are good for my with my prints. <laughs> what a jerk! <laughs> All right, and then for shoes, we got lots of. I think I've got some fancy buckle. What do you think? Hmm. What are winkle pickers? What kind? I don't of... know, but I got them. Yeah, that's the way to go. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's that was easy. Yeah. All right. And now, what about backpacks and stuff? Oh, backpacks! Gotta have a backpack. How often do you accidentally back out of that by hitting B instead of? Confirming oh, ninety percent of the just... time. That was, you. Yeah. You got to see one of the rare times that I successfully exited while wearing the outfit. So I've got. I don't know if I have to wear a backpack. That's certainly an option, though. Mm. What do you think? Mm, I think you gotta. I think you gotta do it. I think you gotta put on the nook. The nook, the nook one. All right. Yeah. Very nice. I wish you could have like a hobo bindle, like the stick with the bandana. Okay, there's the lights back on. People are really into the dress up portion of this. I love it. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's. I like it because they really lean into terrible options, like. The, they do a good job of like there's like cool normal stuff and then just disastrous train wreck apparel items and like it seems like they're doled out equal portion which is important yeah i don't even want to get judgmental about them because so, like it's not that's necessarily that they're objectively bad as much as it is they are meant for one particular ensemble and look bad with everything else well i think like food mess it's oh, okay. difficult to <laughs> i don't know man <laughs> So what would my name be? Let's say for this outfit, which I, I'm i surprised I would like to see for your feature. Like, I would like the ability to name outfits and save them, too. So, like, you can yeah, add. Yeah, ab absolutely. Because I find myself that that weird Argyle, mm -hmm. you know, tattletale thing that I was wearing <laughs> earlier in the stream. Uh, I, I find myself going back to that one a lot. I like it. Yeah. But it's kind of a pain to have. To, as my wardrobe increases, you mm -hmm. have to keep... Uh, finding those pieces and assembling them again, it would be nice to just like say, hey, outfit one, put that on. Yeah. But I'm we, sure that eventually something like that will happen. It seems like a some low hanging fruit. Name, you asked for name suggestions and uh, Venture IL on, on Twitch there just knocks it out of the park right of the way. Perfect. What we this got? is the Iron Gent. <laughs> Iron Gent. <laughs> Which is absolutely perfect. I love it. Yeah, this this outfit would be named the Iron Jet. <laughs> oh boy, I'm awful with the net, by the way, too. Like, oh yeah, I I brain people in the head with that all the time. Yeah. if there's someone nearby, yeah. I just have a hard time knowing exactly where to position it with the the angle. Yeah, and it's funny because you feel like there's some element of like stalking or hunting with it. Oh yeah. But at the but at the same time, it's just like I'm just the most artless. Like like whap, whap, yeah. Whap, 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 whap. And then you're all proud of yourself when you finally catch it. It's like, I ta da. <laughs> it's, it's disheartening too the amount of time I've spent fishing in these games, where there'll be a like a fish will be positioned in such a way that it, I will cast at it like four or five times, and I'm just like. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, yeah. but ugh. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm just. Hopefully the the uh, flick guy will pay off. I'm gonna try to take advantage of that today. 
Randall Hyatt wants to know, can you go full cowboy in the game? I, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you can. I've got a cowboy shirt. I've got... I've got oh. cowboy boots. I've got those chaps. I've mm -hmm. got two kinds of shirts that work for cowboy stuff. Yeah. And, and a cowboy hat. I don't so. have a cowboy hat, so I'm excited to get that. It's Well, actually, mine isn't technically called cowboy hat. It's called outback hat. Oh, is it like one side is up? Like one of those kind of well, hats? No, it's just... It looks mainly like it's not what would you call it like it's not like a 10 gallon hat or mm -hmm. stetson or whatever but it looks it looks cowboy enough especially when you've got the rest of the ensemble yeah so so there i just got a message in a bottle and oh that's what i was hoping it would be too an orange hat that is it is like an orange hat it's not the color orange it's also the fruit <laughs> so i had that grape hat this is good because I can represent my native fruit, which unfortunately I'm tapping out of right now. But oh wow, look at all these can, bugs! You can buy some. Buy buy some oranges at Nook's Cranny. Make it. Yeah. Okay. I think I have some back in my my home base too. But yeah, I'll just buy some. These are uh, trash bugs too, by the way. Yeah. I mean, it's funny because as someone, for me personally, I, I play a lot of like Stardew Valley and mm -hmm. a lot of Harvest Moon kinds of stuff. And there's an element that is always just leaning towards optimization for yeah. me. Yeah. And I almost have to untrain myself to do that in this game, right? Like you can still, you, you can still keep an eye on the things that are the most valuable. Mm-hmm but it, it seems sort of against the spirit of the game to really heavily like uh, work so hard towards optimizing your profit versus just sort of exploring and catching and doing whatever. Yeah, for sure. I find myself catching fish that just join, look, looking at the, like the silhouette, it's like best case scenario, this is something that's worth like 600 bells, which if you're min-maxing stuff is not worth your time. But yeah. I just just do it because it's relaxing. I can I've completely speaking of relaxing, I've lost where well lost where Flick is, so that super sucks. Ooh, we can do the the oh. package thing now. Oh. That one you like the sound you may or may not hear it. There's kind of like a telltale whooshing wind sound that accompanies these balloon presents, which and then you shoot the thing with the slingshot, it comes down and then Oh good. Well, I'm going to swap it because I don't think I need just a common butterfly. Those are fairly worthless. Bye bye. Yeah. Okay. So these could be interesting. Oh, or. Bo 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 wants to know are there emotes in the game? Yeah. Do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, for sure. You've got a whole bunch of them. You have like this wheel that things are assigned. You learn from villagers and then also you have access to all of them. So, like right now, I've got greetings. I'll just go through all of them. Uh, Whoa, I didn't know. So that looks like, what, 40 yeah. plus that you can get? So here I got like joy. You'll see like some of the past ones. You'll you'll notice like these are things that villagers will do. So I like that one. Delight is the... I've got a slingshot in my hand, but usually that one is nice. Surprise is great. You can't see because I've got a helmet on, but your eyes have this really scary vacant stare when you do that. And you can just keep that pose. Bashfulness is good. Oh, you can see my cheeks through the helmet. Intense, you just kind of stare. And then this is my yeah. favorite one, is the cold chill. So, yeah. And you can assign those to the, like, quick wheel. Uh, but Some of this is getting lost because of the way our portraits are on the screen. But oh, yeah. Sorry. You get an idea. Yeah. And these are some messages you've left. You left... Uh, this is a oh, weird. I don't. Was it appropriate? That's my son. He. I don't know what that. That's all about. <laughs> but, okay. There's something. That, that's yeah. something in human rights. And this is just a fact. But, <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Okay. That was me. Yeah. Okay. So I gotta find uh, that flick guy, and then I'm gonna buy some oranges to make that hat. Yeah, and I think we'll probably call it a day with that, huh? Yeah. Uh, I yeah, feel like so I'm getting we, away with something here, and I'm just playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've we've got a few minutes left. If you're uh, if you're watching us here in the chat and you want to get some last minute questions answered, now's the time to go and do it. Uh, and if you've seen Flick, if you could let me know, that'd be super appreciated because <laughs> I don't know where he is. 
Uh, Zach Genson wants to know, like, what is the objective in this game? That's the question. I think there's like the, the, if you're looking for a goal, I guess paying off your loans and expanding your house is like the one that's easiest to point to. Uh, but it almost feels to me like that's that goal, even though it's like the clearest objective is really just a way to get you to see the other things the game has to offer to you along the way. Yeah. Right? Oh, good. You found him. Okay. I'm just going to get a common butterfly trophy. Aim high. Is Gracie in this game? I don't know what that means. Who's Gracie? Is Gracie... I have not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. Um... Oh, shoot. Sorry. The trophies, I made a... I, I gave them three of the sea bass, which are a fish that if you're going for larger shadows in the ocean, they will... They're just the biggest fake out ever, because it does seem like you're getting something good and it's that. So I, I traded in three of those with that beaver CJ to get a trophy. Unfortunately, it doesn't play uh, <laughs> take me to the river, but it's like a, the closest you get to like a Billy Big Mouth, Big Mouth Bass novelty plaque, but that's pretty good. Okay, you so should get, you should get a bunch of those and then send them to everyone. I will do that. Unfortunately, they only do one per visit. So that was a mediocre transaction. Good day. Okay, so I'm going to get that orange hat real quick. What is your favorite thing about this game? Asks Earth is Amazing. I just, I find it so relaxing to fish and just like, you have your routine, kind of like in a Stardew Valley, and, but it isn't as frantic as that is because it once, like some of my routines would take a long time and it was kind of like the, stamina thing you had to worry about i just like yeah how open it is which is kind of a cop out answer but no i mean that's that's a similar my answer is similar i put up that that feature earlier this week that was about how much i like this game just because of how like welcoming and generous it is in that sense mm -hmm. like, like you you don't have some limited stamina or limited resources that you need to worry about to just do the stuff you want to do. You can spend all day fishing in this game if you want. To. Yeah. I think that would get boring. You you enjoy it, that's fine. <laughs> you know, it's, I, th I think it's part of, this gets back to that, like what is the objective question too, is like I think the objective is generally to play for a bit, find the stuff you like to do mm -hmm. and have this sort of like an, an, an idyllic sort of island escape, which, you know, given given the way things are everywhere right now, that's, that's especially pleasant, mm -hmm. I think. So, and the other big one too is like the holidays when they come up. Those are kind of a fun thing to work toward, uh, and like, it's. I think they do a good job of like they've always had like visitors that show up on days. So it's just kind of a like there's that initial rush of gameplay they think that comes with these where you're just like frantically trying to see everything and get all the big important upgrades. Then it just becomes more of like a check in kind of a thing where like oh wow I got this piece of furniture I could really design this room around that if I wanted to. But yeah. I, I don't see, like, I, I think it would be unreasonable to expect a person to put in four or five hours a day on this once you kind of reach past that initial stage where you're making really, really big progress. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of gets back to that question about is this a long-term game or a short burst game? And mm -hmm. it, can be, it can be sort of both, but at some point you're just going to sort of hit maintenance level on it. Yeah. Oh, Joe, I'm going to send you one of these hats, too, actually. Do you want one of these hats? Oh, sure. Oh, wait, yeah. I don't think I have enough materials, actually, so... Uh, so I, that may have been a me. tremendous uh, fake-out. Yeah. Sorry! Whatever. Well, let's see, let's yep, put it on here. This is the orange hat. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye to the iron gent. Yep, now what is this now? Man, orange is a real hard word to work with there, man. Yeah. Hey, let's end it by going to Harv's Island real quick. Oh, yeah, and we can bring all idea. of our friends in here. This is this is yeah, fun. That's a good way. So you meet this guy fairly early on, and uh, I immediately, when I saw him, I was like, I don't know who this is because I was still at a stage where I was able to bring, like, recruit new villagers. I was like, I'll do whatever it takes to get this guy to move in because he uh, is awful. But unfortunately, 
you can't get him to move in, but you can you can visit him whenever because he's got a special uh, piece of gameplay with him. So I'm gonna visit Harv's Island. All right. And this is basically just it's a Harv's Island is like a photo studio mm -hmm. that you go to to try and get. Um, I don't know, you can get some cute pictures, you can bring in a bunch of props, you can bring in a bunch of uh, villagers and stuff like that, so. Yeah. So this is that thing we were talking about way earlier in the stream, this little animation. So good. Yeah, Unicorn in chat is like, yeah, promising a hat and then taking it back feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it really does. Well, you should uh, grind a bunch of bells today, Joe, and you can come buy a crown. So this is Harv. Harv. Actually, I might be able to do that. I'm at like 900,000 right now. So we're just having a really impressive stare down. <laughs> you guys are really connecting there. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Well, so anyway, should... inside of his house here, you got the, the props. I'll bring on all my villagers here. Uh, where should we go? We'll, then we'll call it a day. And we should also point out after this stream mm -hmm. there's going to be a little bit of a break but starting up at 2 p.m we're uh, doing replay Streaming yeah replay today okay now joe you've spent more time here i feel like i've brought people in this mode and it has always felt yeah. like an accident press down on the oh, okay and then scroll to the far right correct yeah so it's there nope what? and then uh, hold where on. Is it? skip it exit okay and then open up your storage. There we go. And then it's all the way to the right. You can bring folks in. Oh, you can bring in all your all your folks. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. And then let's see. Should we do a big emote? Oh, that's going to be a pain because you have to like individually tell everyone what they're doing. Not today. Hey, there we go. And there's an empty room. I don't know what happened there, but anyway. It's this is very cinematic. Very yeah, cool. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. All right. Let's have one we last watched. snapshot to say goodbye. All right. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.